All right, this is my latest project. Now, just to start off, the reason I haven't uploaded any videos lately is because I've been going through high school. However, I just finished high school a couple weeks ago, and so now, during the summertime, besides my job, I'm going to have a lot of free time. So, what I just finished is this. It's a 1,000-watt metal halide setup. So, as you can see, I've got a Sylvania 1,000-watt bulb, a really old mogul socket for the base, and all of this wiring came with the fixture except for this speaker wire, which is what I'm using because it's extra thick. I've got a plus right ballast here. It's a pulse start ballast. It's switched on a 15 amp breaker. There's the igniter and the oil filled capacitor, which is lead free. And then you'll see down here, I used a terminal block to make the wiring a little bit easier. And it held it to the fixture and made the cord obviously held to the fixture too. So that was a plus. Um, these wire nuts did not come with the fixture or the ballast kit. Those are mine. And then, like I said before, it's wired with a 15 amp breaker. Now, this is not only as a switch, but it operates as a safety mechanism. So, for whatever reason, if any part of this shorted out, this would trip and shut off the fixture. And like I said, it's also it makes it easy to plug the fixture in and then switch it on or off. So that's that, and then as you can see, I've got a handle on the right side to pick it up. And now I'll turn it on, if this thing will focus. Once this gets going a little bit brighter, I'll need to step back a little bit because the ultraviolet from this lamp is actually very intense. Now this lamp, unlike most other metal halide lamps that I either have or see, uh, has a way higher amount of flashes. So that is, once the mercury starts up and it vaporizes as it does with its characteristic blue-green light, you can actually see a number of bright flashes and those are the metal salts like sodium iodide or sodium bromide. And what they're doing is they're dissociating and ionizing right now, which is why you can see their light and which is why afterwards the light will take on a more reddish glow making it more white all right so i'm going to need to step back here it's getting very bright hard to see on the camera but it is very bright now over there on the right you can see the 400 watt set i built many years ago in the DC stereo that I built for a, my science final in AP physics. I'll have another video about that later, but right now I'm just waiting for this light to warm up. Alright, so it's getting pretty close to full brightness. One thing I did notice when I plugged this into a watt meter is it doesn't actually draw 1000 watts. In fact, once it warms up fully, it peaks around 975. So it's slightly energy efficient. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. I'll have another video about the wiring or how these things work later, but for now, that's about it. Thanks for watching.